How's it going guys? And in today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add motion blur to a video. So right now I just have a standard clip in. This is Valorant gameplay, but this is good for any video game or any type of, you know, video. It doesn't have to be a video game, but this is just what I'm using for my example right now. Um, so what you're going to want to do to start off with, this is an extremely easy, extremely quick tutorial. Come down to the Fusion tab, and then once you're in this section, you're going to want to click shift and space at the same time to bring up this little tab, this menu. And you're going to want to type into the search bar optic flow. And basically what optic flow does is it just makes it a bit more smooth and um, it just generally looks better. And so once you have this in, don't touch it or move it around or anything, just leave it how it is. You're going to want to press shift and space again to bring up this menu. Type in motion blur. And specifically the one that you want to be using is Vector Motion Blur. Um, this is just generally the best one to use, uh, in my opinion. You don't have to move it around or adjust it or any way, just leave these both how they are. And it, um, once you have it selected, you can adjust exactly how much you want this to be, how you know obvious you want the Motion Blur to be. Um, you know, if you bring it all the way up to 10, as you can see already, it is extremely blurred and extremely fl uh, fuzzed. And this is like a, just a, you know, a still frame. No, no movement is happening, basically. But if you bring it down to zero, literally non-existent. Um, generally, I find if you're making like a, a montage for a video game, like Valorant, you generally want to keep it relatively low. Maybe 0 0.33, that's what I usually do. Um, it doesn't have to be super obvious. It just, you just, you're generally doing it just to make it look clean. But that is down to your preference, however obvious or how unobvious you want it to be. Depends on what you're doing and, you know, your preference. But, um, yeah, that's how you add motion blur. Really, really easy and really simple to any video you want in DaVinci Resolve 17. Now, you guys do drop a like. It uh, really supports my channel and helps push my tutorials to other people who, you know, need to learn things like this. But, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. And uh, peace out.